protesters were on the march again this morning. This time their target was Government House, where they hoisted up an upside down red ensign and Australian Aboriginal flag. Police soon moved in and hauled them down. Protesters also moved around the city today, including a demonstration outside of the ABC's offices. The latest actions in a week of protests by the Convoy to Canberra movement, campaigning about their opposition to vaccine mandates and a range of other issues. And police warn there's more to come. We're asking Canberrans to plan their trips into town tomorrow and if they need to get to locations where protesters may be, please allow for additional travel time. And while most demonstrators insist their movement is peaceful, some actions have turned nasty. A traffic controller was allegedly struck by a vehicle yesterday while trying to direct protesters' vehicles clogging the roads around the airport. That traffic controller was uh, eventually taken to hospital for minor injuries. That person was arrested and faced the courts today. Staff at hospitality venues and shops have also been harassed for trying to enforce mask wearing rules or refusing service. The lives that they are disrupting uh, and the businesses that they've been targeting in Canberra, uh, they don't deserve this sort of, uh, this sort of attack. Uh, and I've been really pleased with the way that Canberrans have responded. Authorities insist peaceful protest is permitted. You can do that without disrupting the lives of others. Uh, and so the leaders uh, of these protests need to think about that. And the federal politicians, you know, mostly uh, either current members of the coalition or former members of the coalition, uh, who are egging them on, really should know better. Large numbers of demonstrators remain camped here at Exhibition Park and while authorities say they can stay for now, they will eventually have to move on for pre-planned events. They certainly shouldn't be disrupting Lifeline's annual book fair, which is you know, that organisation, a really worthy organisation's major fundraising event. Meanwhile, Canberrans are urged to avoid confronting protesters and leave the enforcement of laws to the police. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.